Not good to keep things bottled up. Nelson, I got access to the Seattle Police Database. Turns out, the UP has eyes and ears everywhere. Well, let's gouge out their eyes and slice off their ears. All right, I've got you on my GPS. Not far from one of their mobile command centers. If you can shut that down, it'll limit their ability to track your movements. Mobile command center, got it. So, what exactly does one of those look like? Uh, it should be a large, heavily armored mobile unit with side ports and major communication gear on top. Alright, I think I see it. A uh, badass RV with lights and metal crap on top. Okay, great. There should be vent panels along the sides. Blow out enough of those. Or should overheat and be exposed. Okay, blow out the panels. Got it. Find the main power core, it should be on top. Must be back up. I think I prefer the smaller guys. They are really stepping up their game. Definitely prefer the smaller guys. Feels good. you big fella all 
Oh, crap. Well, did it work? Uh, no time to check, man. I got dupes coming at me from every direction. Get the hell out of there. Yeah, great advice. All right, Reg, I hate to ask, but any of your besties in blue know anything about these core relays? Yeah, well, apparently they've got them set up all over town. Seattle PD's been keeping an eye on them, and the DUP won't tell them what they do. But you can find out where they all are. Sure. Like I said. Good. I need you to send the locations to my phone. What? You can keep tapping them for more powers? No, forget it. Wow. My own brother wants me to fight the ultra-mega bioterrorist of all time with less power. Well, I guess I shouldn't put it off then. Better go straight on to Augustine now and get it over with. Not sure what's gonna happen. All right, all right, I get it. Look, just stay away from Augustine and I'll send you the ones I know of. Thanks, Reg, you're the best brother ever. <laughs> no, the best brother ever would have locked you in a closet back in Salmon Bay for the rest of your life. Wow. I'm sure a closet can hold a conduit for long, but I appreciate your wanting to lock me up. Reg, man, you should see this place. It's completely deserted. No ferries going in or out. Or... Same thing at the airport and train station. Now that they got the bridge out, the DUP's got the town sealed tight. Not gonna be easy, is it? You think the DUP does this to every town they get called to? Apparently, that's what they say. Why would people even put up with that? Because when it comes down to it, most folks aren't willing to trade life for liberty or the pursuit of happiness. Nah, that can't be it. No secondhand smoke is bad for you. Man, how many DUP guys are in this city? Yeah, well, luckily you have the advantage in numbers, my man. Uh, how do you figure that? Well, because one person can move around faster, lighter, quieter. Plus, it'll make them underestimate you. It's not gonna know what hit them. You wanna do me a favor and explain that to them, so maybe they'll just give up? Why, spoil the surprise when it happens. <laughs> Good point. Reg, they got checkpoints and cameras on just about every corner. That's the benefit of having home field advantage. Yeah, except this isn't their home field. Try telling them that.
Okay, so that way's not an option. This better work. It freaking worked! Say goodnight. Reg, you should see this, man. The DUP's completely trashed this city. All the people are walking hunched over and nervous looking. Yeah, well, that's how martial law works. You control the city and the people by breaking them both down first. Yeah, well, occupying armies suck. You may want to keep that to yourself for now. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Look out below! Not bad.